Activate the file. Open. Open menu command. In the upcoming dialog, select the 01 pavilion.pln file and click Open. If you're running the ARCHICAD student version, click on the Convert to Education button in the dialog which appears. Activate the slab tool in the toolbox. Now double click on the slab tool button in the toolbox or click on the settings dialog button in the info box to open the slab default settings dialog. Each ARCHICAD tool has its own default settings dialog. The parameters you set in these dialogs are applied by default during the creation of the corresponding elements. Changes to these settings do not apply if the elements have already been created. However, you can modify element parameters in the upcoming Selected Element Settings dialog if you select Previously Placed Elements and double-click its Tool button in the Toolbox, or click on the button with the same icon in the Info box. Please note that modifications of parameters in the Selected Element Settings dialog do not apply as default tool settings. The dialogs of most ARCHICAD structural tools contain several panels. In the Geometry and Positioning panel, we can specify the geometry of the element, including height and shape information, as well as its vertical position. In the Floor Plan and Section panel, we can set how the element will be represented in 2D views, such as the floor plan or a section. We can set the attributes of the element or its representative symbol to control its display. In the Model panel, we can determine how the element should look in 3D views. Surface materials and textures can be specified here. The Classification and Properties panel allows us to assign properties to our elements. These are important when collaborating with different disciplines or different applications. And finally, we can choose the layer on which the element should be placed. Layers are used to control the display of elements in different model views and representations. Later on, we'll set all parameters manually to achieve the necessary element geometries, positioning, and appearance. However, in this first training project, let's use predefined parameters called favorites. Favorites allow you to save your preferred tool configurations for later use. This way you can access your most frequently used building elements with just one click. Push the upper left button, select the floor slab favorite, and double click on it to apply the necessary settings. Please note how the settings change in the dialog box. Click OK to close the dialog. In the Info box, select the Rectangular Geometry method. Click on the project origin, marked on the floor plan by the X symbol. Move the cursor to the right and up. Type 21,000, press the Tab key, type 9,000, and hit Enter. In ARCHICAD, you can use both graphical and numerical input methods. During the element placement process, ARCHICAD sets the first clicked point as the user origin and also measures all distances in this temporary coordinate system. You can apply favorites not only in the Tool Settings dialog, but also by using Favorites Chooser in the Toolbox or Info box. Hover the cursor over the Column tool and click on the small arrow. Then double-click on the Steel Column Favorite. Next, hover the cursor over the upper left corner of the slab and type X1500+. This way, the cursor will be moved 1500 millimeters to the right. Type Y120+, and move it 120 millimeters higher. When done, press Enter. Let's see how we can create copies of an element to speed up the modeling workflow. Using the arrow tool, select the column we just created. Go to Edit, Move, Mirror a Copy. Move the cursor near the middle of the upper edge of the slab. Click when the Smart Cursor displays a check mark, indicating that you found the middle point of the slab edge. Draw the mirroring axis while holding down the Shift key. Left click to finish the operation and hit the Escape key to deselect the new column. With the shortcut Alt plus click, 
the cursor will change to an eyedropper. Click on any column to pick up its settings and switch to the column tool. Place the two new columns above the slab. Activate the Edit. Select All Columns menu command. You can also use the Control plus A or Command plus A shortcuts. Now select the Edit, Align, Bottom menu command. Each element selected will be aligned to the lowest point of the selected group, that is the bottom column. To ensure the columns are all distributed evenly, do not deselect any columns, but use the Edit, Distribute, Along X menu command. Right-click and select the Move, Mirror a Copy command from the Context menu. Define the mirroring axis. The first axis point is the middle of the slab. Draw the mirroring axis while holding down the Shift key to limit the cursor movement to a horizontal direction. Finally, hit Escape to deselect the columns. Now let's create the terrain mesh. Activate the Mesh tool and select Terrain from the Favorites chooser. Hover the cursor over the bottom left corner of the slab and type X10500 minus and Y16500 minus to move the cursor to the correct position. Press Enter and move the cursor up and to the right. Type 42000, press Tab, and type 42000 again. Press the Enter key to finish the operation. Let's check the 3D model. Hit either the Function plus F4 key on Mac or F5 in Windows, or just click on the 3D All tab. You can temporarily activate the Orbit mode using the Shift plus Scroll button shortcut.